Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 10. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 10. It says that do not say, Why were the former days better than this? For you do not inquire wisely concerning this. He said, Don't say it. It shouldn't come out of your mouth. Why were the former days better than this one? He says, if you say it, it means you have not inquired wisely. It means whoever you have been speaking to has been giving you foolish words. So, it's not, it's not debating it with you. It's just telling you that if you say the former days were better than these days, you have not inquired wisely. And that's one reason why we are gathered this night. Is because we want to do right inquiries. We want to really check from the mindset of God how these days are compared to the former days. Now, when we get to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, still that same, we go some verses earlier, verse 8. It says that the end of a thing is better than its beginning. The patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. The end of a thing is better than the beginning thereof. If you are in the end time, it means you are in a better time. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. So it means that the beginning must have been good. But if we come to the end, it's better. Tell someone the end is better. Tell another person the end is better. Now, Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6, it says that being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So he says, there's a certain confidence you are supposed to have as believers. There's a confidence you are supposed to have about your life. That if God begins something with you, he is faithful to complete it even unto the very end. That God does not abandon any project. So if there's something God started with you, we must make sure first that it's God that started it with you. We, I've seen building projects where people will start building a project and then as they start building it they discover that the cost of building becomes higher than they anticipated so after doing the foundation and maybe the first floor the bridging is ab abandoned because they realize getting towards the end that they don't have enough to take care of that project but that's not the case with god he says, if it's God that has begun something in your life, have this confidence that he's faithful to complete it even unto the day of Jesus Christ. Now, let's leave your personal life and go to the generation. Let's leave your personal life and go to the world. The Bible tells us that in the beginning, Genesis 1, God created the heavens and the earth. From this, we realize that the earth was made by God. So the earth is a project of God. And Philippians tells us that if God starts something, he doesn't abandon it. He completes it until the end. So God did not start with the earth and come to our generation and discover that no, he cannot fulfill his purpose. If it's God that began the earth, then he is faithful to complete it. Whatever God had in the beginning when he was creating the earth, at the end of it, we will see it. Because he is faithful to complete it. Men can abandon projects. That is normal. When men start something, expect the best at the beginning. It's true. When men begin a project, a lot of times the best is at the beginning. Because that's how, when they have the energy. 
That, that is why when you go, you, they don't make you go to work from 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Because that's when your energy starts dwindling. They want you from the beginning because you have your energy then. If they bring you to work from 6 p.m. to most of you, uh, your output will be terrible. Men have the ability to do things great at the beginning. During the wedding in Canaan, when wine had finished, the Bible says that Jesus came to meet, uh, Mary came to meet Jesus to say they have no wine. And then Jesus had instructed his disciples to pour water into the water pot and go and serve the governor of the feast. And when they did that, and they served him, he tasted the wine. And he saw that, no, this is strange. He says, how is it that you have reserved the best for the last? Normally, men bring the best at the beginning. Then when men are well drunk, then they bring that which is bad. But for you, you have reserved the best for the last. No, he did not understand that it was God that was working. Because with God, he keeps the end better. The best is always at the end. For some of you in your personal life, I don't know how the journey has been. Maybe there was a part where it was sweet and things started going some way. Don't worry, the best is always at the end. The best is always at the end. So don't lose hope. 